The Queen's extraordinary global impact can be seen in the heartfelt messages from world leaders to ordinary people who felt a deep connection to the beloved monarch. CBS's Holly Williams is at Windsor Castle tonight, just outside London, where crowds have gathered to express their grief. As the Union Jack was lowered in London and all over the United Kingdom, crowds began to gather at the golden gates of Buckingham Palace. God save the Queen, they sang, for a much-loved monarch. We were outside Windsor Castle tonight, home to kings and queens for over 900 years. <laughs> she was everything to us, and it was a massive part of our upbringing. It's a very sad moment, a very sad moment. She's always been there, and it will never be the same again. <laughs> what kind of a queen was she to your mind? To me, I believe that she was a queen uh, with a lot of love for her people. Around the globe today, news broadcasts reported the unfolding events. Reigning from this small island, Queen Elizabeth was perhaps the most famous woman in the world. World leaders paid tribute. She was one of my favorite people in the world, and I will miss her so. President Emmanuel Macron of France said she embodied British unity. President Vladimir Zelensky, leader of embattled Ukraine, said the Queen's death was an irreparable loss. And Pope Francis offered prayers for her eternal rest. This truly is the end of an era. For over 70 years, the United Kingdom's national anthem has been God Save the Queen. Now it will become God Save the King. Nora. Holly Williams outside Windsor Castle, thank you.